Hey guys, I just wanted to make this quick video showing you how to onboard new clients with Go High Level. Now I know that some of you guys are just starting out and this can be a bit confusing. So hopefully by the end of the video, you guys are going to have more confidence and you're going to be ready to start signing new clients. So I'm just going to show you the most simple way you can do this. And this is going to be by onboarding your clients manually. But before we get into the video, guys, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Now let's just jump right into it. So let's say that you're in a meeting with a prospect and they agree to move forward. What you're going to want to do then and there is send them an invoice for your services. And you can easily do this with Stripe. Stripe is a really good payment processor that easily integrates with Go High Level. So it's very easy for anyone to come in here and create an invoice. And you are going to want to make sure that you collect payment at the end of the call. You don't just want to hang up the call and hope that they pay you later because you want to get paid right away. And you want to get paid when this is all still fresh in the business owner's head because you don't want to wait weeks or even months for someone to even pay you because you're not going to want to do upfront work for free. You want to get paid first and then you start doing the work. And a lot of times if you don't collect payment at the end of the call, there's a good chance that they don't pay you ever and they change their mind later. That's why it's very crucial that you collect payment. Now, once they send you the payment, what you're going to want to do now is send them an onboarding form that they can fill out so that you can get some more information about their business. So you can set up their account. So this is an example of an onboarding form that you can send them. This will just collect some information like their name, business name, their phone number, email, their Facebook page. If they have one right here, they'll give you all of the services that they offer and so on and so forth. You are going to want to create this onboarding form according to your business and what information your business needs from their business. So you can easily create a form like this inside of go high level and to send this form to your prospect it's going to be easy you can just copy this link up here and send them this link and they'll be taken to a page like this where they can fill out this form now if you do want to collect payment or smoothly you can create a step-by-step -step funnel that will take your prospect through this so this is an onboarding funnel that I use and if we just take a look at this this is going to be a four-step funnel so at the end of my meetings what I would do is just send the business owner the link to this funnel so just go through this so this is the first page that the business owner will see and this is going to be the payment page right here they'll see the price and all the things that they're getting and then in here this is where they can fill out their payment information and pay for my services. Once they do that, they're going to be taken to this page right here. And then on this page is where I'll have my onboarding form. So this is where the business owner can go ahead and fill out this information. And then once they click on submit, they're going to be taken to the third page. And on this page is where my client can book a success call with me, which I'll go over what this is later. Once they book a call, they'll be taken to the final page. And on this page, I'll just have a welcome video. And then right here, they can go ahead and log into my software or they could join our Facebook group. So that's just an example of an onboarding funnel that you guys can create for your business. But like I showed you before, if you don't want to do that, you can simply just create an invoice, send that invoice to the business owner, and then make sure that you send them the link to this form. And that's pretty much everything you're going to need before you start setting up their account with Go High Level. So now the next thing that we want to do is set them up with Go High Level. So what we're going to do is create them a sub account. We're just going to click right here. And then I'm just going to click right here where it says create sub account. And then if you just want to give them a regular account, you can just click right here. Or if you have a SaaS business, you can just give them a SaaS account. And then right here, you can choose between some snapshots that Go High Level gives you. And these snapshots are extremely basic. So I recommend that you just create a snapshot from Blink or you can check out one of our premium snapshots down below inside of our snapshot vault. And these snapshots are professionally created by industry experts. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is choose a snapshot for the niche that you're targeting, upload that snapshot into your account, and then you can come over here to where it says imported snapshots, choose the snapshot that you imported, and then your client will be all ready to go in no time. But for this video, let's just go ahead, choose Blink snapshot. And now to add our client to this sub account, we can do two things. If they have a Google My Business listing, we can go ahead and search for them and we can set them up that way. Or or we can just go ahead click right here where it says add account manually and all you're going to want to do right here is add your client's first name last name email add their business name their business address state zip code phone number website if they have one and then when you're done you can go ahead and save this and then you're going to be taken to this page right here and if you come up here where it says actions this is where you can load a snapshot into your client sub account you can delete the sub account pause it or transfer it but for right now to finish setting up our client we're going to want to jump inside of their sub account so let's just click right here where it says switch to sub account so this is our client's personal sub account. So everything that we see right here, our client will be able to see, but they're only going to get access to this one sub account. And if we click right here, you're going to be able to see all the clients that you have and all of their sub accounts. So you can easily jump inside of their sub accounts and customize anything that they want. So let's just go ahead and connect our client to the sub account right here. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is just come over here to the launch pad. And we're just going to want to connect as many of these things as possible for our client. So right away, we can help them download this mobile app by clicking right here. And then we can just add their phone number right here and click on continue and a link to this mobile app will be sent to their phone where they can click on the link, go to the app store and download the app. And then the next thing that we can do is connect their Google My Business right here. And if you want to, you can ask for that information on this onboarding form. Or when you jump on a success call with your client, if they feel more comfortable, they could just do it then and you can just help them if they have any questions. And then next, you can go ahead and connect their Facebook to the sub account. Once you do that, the next thing to do is you can connect a chat widget to their website if they have one. Or if you're building them a website with Go High Level, that's where you want to connect it. You can connect their WhatsApp, Stripe account if they want to enable a yes 
text if they have a WordPress site. And then right here, you can add any of their employees to the sub account as well. Now, a lot of times your client will just feel more comfortable doing this themselves when it comes to their Facebook, their Stripe account, and so on. So on your success call that you have with your client, just make sure that you go through all this and you get them set up and ready to go. Now, the next thing that you want to do to set up your client is just go over here to the settings and then come all the way over here until you see where it says integrations. And then right here, you're just going to have a couple more things that you can connect. And again, most likely a lot of this stuff you're going to do on your success call, but it's a good idea that you get familiar with the things that you can connect so that you're ready on that call to help your client finish getting set up. So once you do that, we can go back. So now the next thing that you're going to do before you connect your client with this sub account is finish any work that you promised your client. So for example, if you're building a website for your client, you just come over here to sites, you would go to websites and you can just go ahead and click right here and create a website for the business owner. If you're setting up any automations, this is the time to do so. You just go to automations, create the automations that you promised them. You can set up their sales pipeline and the opportunities tab. You can set up their phone number by coming to settings and by going to phone numbers. And this is where you can go ahead and set up their phone number. And you are going to want to make sure that you register for A2P 10 DLC. And again, you can walk them through that and help them set that up on your success call. And that can be a little confusing for some of you guys. If you want to make another video on how to set up A2P 10 DLC, just let me know down below. So once you're done completing any work for your client, you can now set them up with this sub account. And again, if you don't want to really do all of this work yourself, you guys can go ahead and check out our snapshot vault down below. And let's say that you're working with a pest control business, you can just upload the pest control snapshot and you're going to have everything all set up for you. You're going to have a pest control website, funnels, their calendars are going to be set up. You're going to get pipelines, automations, emails, and so much more. So if you guys want to save time, go ahead and check that out. Now that you have their sub account all ready to go, let's go ahead and connect them to this sub account. And we can easily do that by coming over here to settings and then by going to my staff. And then you just want to add them as an employee to this sub account. So I'm just going to click right here. And then right here, we can add their first name, their last name. We can add their email and then we can add their phone number. And then right here, we can click on advanced settings. And this is where we can create a password for our client. So we can just do pretty much whatever we want. And this is going to be the same email and password they use to log into your white labeled version of go high level. And if they want to, they can change their password later. Right here, you can connect them to any calendars. You can give them an email signature. And then right here where it says user permissions, this is where you can choose what you want your client to see. So as of right now, they pretty much have access to everything. But if you don't want to overwhelm your client and you don't want them to see certain things, you can just go ahead and switch them off. So let's say you don't want to give them the affiliate manager. You can just switch that off. We can turn off blogging, memberships, and so on and so forth. And then once you're done editing their permission, you can go over here to user roles and you can just keep them as an admin. Right here, you have call and voice settings. You can change their user availability. And then right here, you have their user calendar configuration. So once you're done doing all that, you can go ahead and save them. And if you did that correctly, you're going to see them right here. And now what's going to happen is they're going to get an email with their login credentials and they can just go to your white label domain, log into your software with their email and password. And just like that, they're going to be taken to their sub account and they're going to see all the things that you gave them access to and they can start using your platform. Now, there is one last thing that we can do and that's by enabling SaaS mode for this sub account. So if you want to make even more money with every text and email that they send out or every AI action, you're going to want to enable SaaS mode for this sub account because if you don't, you're just going to eat that cost and you don't want to do that. So let's just go back to the agency view and then all you want to do is go to your client sub account and then you just want to click on these three dots right here and then click switch to SaaS and to enable this feature, this is where you want to connect their payment details to the sub account. So you can either share this payment link with them where they can do that. And once they click on that link, they're going to be taken inside of their sub account where they can just add their payment information right here, or you can send this to them with an email, SMS, or if you already have them in Stripe, which most likely you do because you collected payment at the end of your call, you can just click on this and then you can just search for them in Stripe. So we can just search for them right here, click on our client. And then right here, we can just go ahead, click on next. And just like that, their account is going to convert to a SaaS account. So now every single email or text that they send out through that sub account, you're going to make a profit with that. So that's pretty much how you can set up and onboard your client with Go High Level. Now there is one last thing that you can do, and this is jumping on a success call with your client. So once you're done setting them all up and they're ready to go and they have their login credentials, you can jump on another call with them just to make sure that everything's going okay. Make sure they're not having any problems logging into your account. And then like I said before, this is where you can help them connect whatever's left that they need to connect. You can make sure that they feel comfortable using your software, answer any questions that they have. You can walk them through your software again and go through all the features that they have access to. And that's pretty much going to be it guys. That's how you can onboard someone using Go High Level. Now, if you guys are new to Go High Level and you sign up with the link down below, not only will you get an exclusive 30 day free trial, we're also going to get access to a ton of bonuses and resources as well, including the snapshot vault that I showed you earlier. And then finally, if you guys got some value from this video, I would appreciate it if you like it and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.